Kenya has taken its first step into space with the launch of Friday's nano satellite made at the University of Nairobi. Engineers involved in creating the cube shaped space capsule described it as, a, as Kenya's joining the space club, although much remains to be done to really get the Kenya space program off the ground. Viewers Daniel Schaff reports from Nairobi. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Kenyans cheered as a live stream broadcast at the University of Nairobi showed the country's first homemade satellite launched by Japan from the International Space Station. Kenya has now joined other nations in the space club, declared some. It has really taken us to the next level uh, because really uh, what we have been doing is we have just been users of space technology, space science and technology. In fact, we were in the category where we were calling ourselves space aspiring nation. Um, in as far as now we are concerned, when the, once the deployment has been done and it is successful, we are in the same league as the space faring nation. Kenya's space agency was established just last year and has done little since. But the university is already making plans. Our next step is one to try to make the next uh, bigger size of uh, this uh, nano satellite. The one we have uh, done is called 1U. We need to make 3U. The palm-sized, cube-shaped nano satellite was designed by students and scientists at the university, but with a lot of help. <laughs> Japanese and Italian experts aided the project, and Japan funded much of the venture. I'm very happy because this program comes at a time when some of Kenya's students left to study geospatial and space technology abroad, leaving our universities. I'm extremely happy because I know when they are there, they will know that we can compete with the space program. Kenya's first satellite will be used to collect data on wildlife, weather forecasting, disaster management, and food security, among other goals. Daniel Sheriff, VOA News, Nairobi.